Hi, I'm Will Shorts, and you've got a Puzzle Master. Well, I've been crossword editor for the New York Times since 1993. If you're tackling the New York Times crossword for the first time, I recommend, first of all, start with a Monday, because that's the easiest day of the week. Start with what you know for sure, and build out from there. Generally speaking, consonants are more helpful in the crossing words. If you get stuck, come back to an hour later or the next day. It's amazing, you know, you'll get one more answer the next time, and you'll be off and running and able to finish the puzzle. Most people have no idea what a crossword editor does. The biggest part of the job actually is correspondence. I get 75 to 100 submissions a week. It's my job to look at all the puzzles and respond to people what I like, what I don't like, and yes or no, obviously. We've published several crosswords that were collaborations between regular puzzle makers and celebrities. For example, Bill Clinton. Um, we also had Martha Stewart. There are some basic rules you have to follow in American crosswords. One is the grid has to be symmetrical. Uh, we don't allow unchecked squares. We don't allow two-letter words in American crosswords. On average, about half the clues in the New York Times crossword are my own. Basically, I do not put secret messages in the New York Times crossword. My sole goal is to make the puzzle as good as I can. And if I'm worried about hiding secret messages and doing uh, unseen tricks in the puzzle, then that's going to uh, lower the quality of the puzzle.